Hey everybody, Dustin Davis here. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how I create a debt snowball spreadsheet that is kind of a living document. There's a lot of great tools that can build debt snowballs, uh, but I like to create a spreadsheet and kind of make it a living document, keep it simple. So if you go to docs.google.com slash spreadsheets and create a new spreadsheet, I've got a blank spreadsheet here. We're just going to start from scratch and see how long this takes to build it out. I'm going to rename this to Debt Snowball. Okay, so in the top column, I'm just going to list out my debts. I'm just going to make some stuff up here. Um, so let's say we have an American Express card. And let's say the current balance is, uh, let's just say it's about $5,500. And the interest rate on this, let's say 17.89 that's the annual APR and be sure to put the percent in because that'll make the calculations work correct and the next uh, the next account let's say is a visa credit card and let's say we owe about 8,000 on that and let's give this one a higher percentage rate maybe it's 21.25 percent and last let's say we have a car loan and the balance, let's say it's around 1600 with maybe a 4.5% interest rate. Okay, I have no idea how these numbers, numbers will work out, but let's give it a try. So in this column below here, we're going to uh, put the payment here in this column, um, interest rate, and the current balance. Now if I take this and copy it over here, now I have one for each column. And let's say the minimum payment on this is around, uh, let's say 225. The balance is going to equal what we put here. And the, the interest payment is going to equal the uh, APR divided by 12, which gives us a monthly interest rate, and then we're going to multiply that by the balance. Okay, and we're going to assign this to a, a number, so that's $82. Um, actually, on these, just all these to use. Let's go to Format, Number, Accounting. Now we have dollar amounts, um, but the, the dollar sign's over to the far left. <coughs> so now if I copy this, well, let's just start with this one and I'll move over to the other ones. So the next balance is going to equal the previous balance plus the interest we paid last month um, minus the next payment which is here. So our next payment we're just going to say this payment equals this one here. Our interest if we copy this down notice we have this arrow. Uh, what's happening here is I've got D1 which is our APR. When I copy that down it moves to D2. So what I want to do is put a little dollar sign in front of the 1 which tells it you know, when I copy this make sure you always stay with the 1. Uh, and so if I drag that down now, uh, now based on the, the new balance, this is my new interest rate. So now I can take this column and just keep copying it down until we have this negative amount here. So I'm going to delete this row here. This, once we hit a negative number, we know that it's paid off. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, these two columns, I'm going to copy them and then paste here. And so just to verify these, so our, let's say our, our payment here is, our minimum payment is about 300 a month. So we'll adjust that. Interest, notice it when I pasted it, it looks at the G1, which is the right one we want to look at. And this one also looks at G1 because I put that dollar sign in front of the one. It's looking at the right amount. And this is looking at F1. 
and this one has the same calculation. So that's all we need to do there. We can just copy this down until we see some negative numbers. So delete anything below the negative value. And again, we'll do that again. Copy these first two, paste over here. I just hit Command C to copy and Command V to paste. And let's say our car loan has a $400 payment. Uh, the interest is going to be a little lower on this lower APR, so that looks right. So now if we just highlight this and scroll down a ways, uh, still not negative. Need to go a little further. There we go. Okay. Then over in this column, we're going to put the current month and date. So we're currently in March 2019. Well, that we're going to do next month, April 2019. Now, if I highlight these two and just drag this down to my last row here, if we make these minimum payments, we will be debt free by November 2022. So, how do we accelerate this? Well, the first thing we want to do is once we, is there any um, amount that we can add to this payment to make it pay off quicker? Well, um, let's just assume for now we don't. If we did, we could just up this payment to, you know, three. Let's say we have an extra hundred dollars a month, so now we're making three hundred twenty-five. You can see how much sooner that pays that off. But let's just say things are tight. That's all we have to pay right now. Um, so let's on this final one where we go negative, we're going to adjust this balance or this payment to equal the previous balance plus the previous interest. And then we see that we hit zero. So that's all that's left. And what we could do is then take this amount. So now uh, we're going to we're going to take this $300 payment. So we'll take that plus we're going to add the 225 minus the 141 and that gives us an extra 8355 to add to this payment and then going forward this one we can take the 300 and then add the uh, 225 and we see that our payment goes up so we're basically we're taking once this pays off we're taking that payment and adding it onto this one and we can see that we <clears throat> accelerated this payment by a few months. So now, after just taking those payments, we've got this paid off in two months. So this this one here uh, will equal the previous balance plus the previous interest. And that'll pay that off, and we can delete these. We're going to do the same thing here. Uh, let's say when we pay this off, we're just going to... There's not a whole lot there, so I'm not going to worry about doing the, the transaction there. Let's just take the next month here and add on this 525 that we we're paying to those two debts. Whoops. We actually want to take the 400 plus the 525. So now we're paying 925. You notice we just accelerated this payment as well so that we're paid off here. So our final payment is going to be 30 dollars plus the eleven dollar interest and this one's paid off okay so then we can delete these months <coughs> sorry and that's basically how you build out your debt snowball and I'm just gonna format this a uh, little bit here uh, we'll center these and let's take this row highlight these we're just gonna add some borders here just to style it up a bit so we're gonna let's make it a uh, a double border oops so we got a double border on this side and on this side and then again over on this column we're gonna do the same here to put her there okay so now we're kind of separating our our columns here um, over in this row I'm just gonna add a total balance here and 
And then let's say difference, how much we pay off here. So total balance is going to be this one plus this one plus this one. And if I highlight that, and if I double click this, it should go down to the bottom, right? Okay. So there we can see our our total debt right now is 29,500. Once we pay it off in June 2022, that'll be the balance. So the difference here, <clears throat> sorry. I just want to go month to month here. So this one equals this minus this. Copy this down. So this is how much that we're reducing each month. Okay. Um, all right. So the way I make this kind of a living document, I'm just going to put some borders around this as well. Okay. Now let's say we go through March and uh, we add let's say we just make all these payments so once I make all the payments I like to just highlight this row and give it a color uh, I'll use this light orange so that that way I know this is paid and then as I go through April let's say um, I have an extra fifty dollars I could put to this so 275 <clears throat> Sorry, um, I messed up my formatting for some reason. Let me format that again with accounting. And uh, let's say my interest rate, interest rate actually adjusts, but I look at my, my account and let's say that it's actually $80. Um, and so my, and my new balance is 53207 I can't remember what it was before but let me just highlight these so the formatting doesn't go off format number accounting okay so your balance and your interest may not match exactly because depending on how many days you go between payments it can change your your actual interest payment uh, so once you actually pay that, then just highlight that column to show that it's paid. Um, this one, let's say the interest was actually 139 and the balance came out to be 7840. And then we made that payment. Okay, and this one will just say that that one actually matched up like we predicted. We say that payment's made, and we can highlight these as well. So basically, as you go through each month, you're putting in real numbers. Um, we may may have to go back to like the 225 payment this month, or say as you pay, you know, down the road, this one. Let's say you get a pay raise in August, and going forward. You take that pay raise, and now you can actually apply, you know, 350 a month to debt. Whoa, my balance is way off. What happens? <laughs> what happened here? So this balance should be this balance uh, plus the interest minus the payment. Okay, so now once we are able to put $350 per month, we notice that we pay it off here. So I'm going to delete these down and make my adjustment here. So again, I'm going to say, you know, once this is paid off, if there's left over here, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but here, the, the, the following month, I'm going to take the previous payment and start applying this payment here so now going forward I could put 650 and then we notice it pays off here 
and I can adjust this one now and going forward from here we can now pay 400 plus the 650 and now we're paying it off here so now if I take these rows and just delete them see we're paying it off much quicker now we're paying it off by January of 2022 so yeah this just had to make this a living document fill in the blanks as you go uh, I hope this helps let me know if you have any questions um, hopefully I did these calculations right if not just adjust them to make it work for you but hopefully you get the idea of what I've done I don't know if this matches up I know some of my things were off but hopefully the concept makes sense um, you may be able to adjust a few things here and there, but yeah, let me know if this makes sense or if you have any questions on this. Thanks.